Two things I want to talk about today. Dual head extruders and slicing software. So if you have a dual head extruder printer um, and you have had something happening to any of your prints that looks like this, then you need to check the level of your heads between the two the two heads. So this is what was happening to me. Printing on the right uh, extruder in PLA, uh, my left extruder um, was basically, once I watched it, it was hitting the print and it was causing this issue. And it wasn't off by very much. I mean, it was off by, you know, let's put it this way, when you're leveling the bed, um, you know, and you can feel, you know, you put a piece of paper or you put a business card under, it's the left extruder and then the right extruder. It just feels a little bit more snug under the left extruder. That's all. And that was causing this. And then the second thing that I want to talk about is slicing software. So how this all started was that I really, really, really wanted to print this print right here, which is the that is the uh, spiral vase. And I absolutely wanted to print this so badly. And uh, I had some wood PLA um, and I really, really wanted to print this. And I had all kinds of things happening. Obviously this um, from, you know, not realizing that um, my left print head was lower than my right. That was causing me issues. And then the second problem I ran into was this, this kind of, let's see which ones have it. This stringing, this sort of spit spots, um, you know, and honestly, some had it and some didn't. And I look online and guys say, well, you got to put retraction in and you have to do this, you have to do that. You know, your, your PLA has moisture in it. I mean, there's all these things that can cause these kind of things. And, um, but then I read a post where someone said, you know what? Simplify 3d solves most problems. And I thought, you know, it's expensive, but they have their two week money back guarantee. And I thought I'm going to try it and it works so i guess the what i've learned and uh you know this is for anybody out there who's 3d printing and uh, you've gone to the hobby and you love it but you know you you haven't been getting the results you want two things i can say um one what slicing software are you using two you know make sure your bed's level um what's the get the distance between the heads and, and the bed it makes a big big difference um and uh and if you have a dual head extruder um are they level and uh, you really got to check that and i would say i don't know how what the percentage is going to be but i'd imagine that uh, for for how close they have to be um you know that most people's beds uh most people's dual extruders are going to be out and every one probably needs some kind of alignment um, so I guess I could tell you what I did um, to fix this problem is um, I didn't want to take my whole uh, print head assembly apart so what I did and I read online what somebody said hey, hey if it's really really close shim it so what I did was obviously the one that was low which is the left extruder um, you know there's only two screws on the Flash Forge Dreamer that hold the whole uh, print head assembly uh, in the printer so took it out and uh, I made little sh paper shims and I started with one shim and uh, it wasn't quite, it was close, it was way, way better, but it wasn't enough. Put a second shim in, absolutely perfect. Like couldn't tell the difference between, you know, the, how much each head was grabbing on the business card I was using. And after I did that, I produced that print right there, which is the spiral vase. Um, and there's really not a single thing wrong with that print. Okay, I lie. The top has a bit of a problem, and that was me being greedy. So in Simplify 3D, it knows my print uh, Z-axis is 150 millimeters, and it automatically resizes it all the way to 150. But what I didn't factor on is that I threw down a raft. So I'm not 150 anymore. I'm probably more like 152, 153 millimeters. And uh, anyway, at the very, very end, uh, the print head started to kind of mangle the top of it. But either way, I'm very, very happy. I mean, I went through almost a dozen prints here 
of just non-stop problems and non-stop uh, failures, really, because I would be printing and then all of a sudden, let me see if I can grab one like this, if I can get it to focus. Um, so it's printing, printing, and you can see those little marks on there, like those are little scars. Um, and that is from the that was from that low extruder um, hitting hitting it. So what it was doing was it'd be going around, and I would hear this clicking noise like that. But you don't see it at first. You know, obviously it's pretty low to to the to the print uh, to what you're printing. And I'd hear this little click click, and I'm like, I thought it was. And actually, the clicking noise was such a, a high pitch click um, and crisp that I actually thought it was. Uh, I thought it was um, um, the bed, you know, when it was going up and down or something was was jumping teeth or the the belts were jumping. That's what it kind of sounded like, but it wasn't. It was it was the uh, it was the left head uh, hitting the prints. So anyway, this is sort of a you know, I'm gonna call this um, if you are having print problems, look at a couple things. What software are you using? Uh, honestly, I can't say enough good things about Simplify 3D. As soon as I loaded it up, all this stringing I had, gone. And all I did was load up that exact same STL file in Simplify 3D. Did nothing, just like stock PLA settings on, you know, fine detail. Hit print, all my stringing gone. Once I resolved the, uh, the printhead issue, bing, bang, there we go. Stock PLA settings, absolutely perfect. I mean, all the way around. There's just, it's an absolutely perfect print. So, that's it guys. So if you like this video, please click like. And as always, please click subscribe. I'm gonna keep growing this channel and uh, hopefully I can um, bring you some good videos. Talk to you later, bye-bye.